Well, my ornamental grape has taken over and it's, <laughs> it's sure so, has. I've been chop, chopping. chopping at it. Right. So um, just to keep it under control, it's a beautiful red, orange red in, in, in the autumn time. Gorgeous colour. Gorgeous mm -hmm. colour. But it, it, at the moment, it's, it's causing me a little bit of angst because it's reaching out and grabbing things. So I've been oh. snipping and chasing these vines. So. Wow. Yes. Well, that's good. You, you're succeeding, are you? <laughs> these oh, he's been tying it up, but what worries me is the tall ones, and he wants to get up on a ladder to get those. Oh, yeah. No. No. Not good. What I find is with the nets over the fruit trees, these tendrils, that they go really hard and they get in, in, entangled in the net, oh, yeah. and they're very, very hard to get out. Get so, out again. So, we, we go around and snip. So that's that's my effort for gardening this week. Just wow. Cutting things yeah, back. You'll be sick of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy it. I've, I've, only, I've only got two hours energy a day. So, I mean, in two hours, I don't get sick of it. But I'm, I'm afraid I don't finish a lot of things. I jump from one thing to another. Oh, nothing's changed. Oh, well, that's all right. Yeah, I think that's good to go with the flow. Don't worry if you don't finish the project. That's okay. Mm, it'll be there one for you to finish another day. Yeah, exactly. So, we, I, my son made me breakfast and I haven't even finished it. Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's uh, impressive. Oh. Talking about show and tell. Oh, wow. Through this, we're, we're right into eating beetroot leaves. I, mean, I, don't want, I don't want it to fall off the, my, my plate. No, don't. <laughs> not onto your computer. <laughs> and uh, No, exactly. And uh, he was so thrilled, and so was I, because his first pea or beans, what are they called? Or snow you, peas? Snow peas? <laughs> snow peas or broad beans? or No, not broad beans. They're peas. No peas. Peas in a pod. Hmm? Peas in a pod. Just, yeah. just yeah. a normal pea. Exactly. I think so. But aren't yeah. they snow peas? No, yeah. they're peas in a pod. Anyway, we ate it. It was fantastic. <laughs> And he said, look what, look what happens if you don't look at your garden for a couple of weeks and then suddenly all these things are growing. They do. Yes. Well, as long as you can keep the grubs and slugs and everything else away from them. Yeah. Well, and rabbits. We've got so many rabbits. Oh, yes. Rabbits and birds. Yeah, so, birds. We've got birds. Uh, Not rabbits, but birds. Would anybody oh, like a flock of Indian miners? Oh, what do they do? Oh, they? no, not the Indians. The others are all right. <laughs> yes, the, the, the introduced ones, they're shockers. Oh, the Indians. Sorry, Jackie. I cut you off there, Jackie. You were holding up no, a leaf. What's an Indian miner? Describe to me what that is. Um, about the size of a blackbird. Right. A, a feral pest uh, introduced here about 50 years ago. I'm not sure whether it came accidentally or not. Uh, it's... Probably grey and it's like Hawthorne football colours. So it's sort of a brownie too, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, brown, mm -hmm. brown and and and, and grey and horrible. Wow. Um, they uh, a flock. They they get in flocks, but they they pick on all the other birds and and they're very good at evicting native birds from hollows. Wow. They, yeah, they're very aggressive to other birds. And yeah. and they they, chase they, them away. they yeah. eat everything. Uh, and what I find is that if they're not They'll even just pull up your seedlings for just sheer devilment, you know. Yeah. The carrots and, and 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 parsnips are coming up. They'll just come along and go. Beep, 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 beep. And you know they poo in other birds' nests, so oh, they yeah. make them inhabitable. Isn't yeah. that terrible? It's I read that yeah. not long yeah. ago. I thought, gee, that's so bad. They haven't got a redeeming feature at all, have they? They're horrible. No, but the noisy miner, I don't like him much either. But He's uh, native. Yes. He? Oh, okay, the noisy miner. So the sparrows, are, are you talking about sparrows or are they different? No, the, they're, they're about three times the size of a sparrow, about the size of a blackbird. Three times bigger right. than a And um, now they're, they're, they've colonised every continent oh, on, in the world except Antarctica, and I, I rather flippantly say, I reckon if you took them down there, they'd survive anyway. Yes. <laughs> I reckon they're stowaways on boats, most definitely. Yes. They have to be. I don't know how they get where they go. Extraordinary. Without this being a we've stowaway. Got, we've also got cuckoo birds here. And well, they're no good either. Oh, they're terrible. 
And I remember one <laughs> flew into the window and I nursed it all night, hoping it would fly away and calling wildlife and whatnot. And in the morning it, it, it was okay and it flew away. But then I read up about this cuckoo and apparently they steal other birds' mm. nests mm. and 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 have their babies in there and then they take off from their babies. That's right, and leave the babies to fend with the new mm. mother. And the, and the poor fairy wren thinks that, oh, my God, I've got to keep feeding my baby. My baby's getting yeah. bigger and bigger and yeah. it's not even their child. Um, it's amazing, isn't it? I like cuckoos because if, if we, and I like fairy wrens, but if we didn't have cuckoos, we'd be overrun with fairy wrens. There's a balance. Right. Fairy wrens. Yeah. Are fairy wrens are gorgeous. Yeah, they're lovely. <laughs> so. Okay, well. so a cuckoo bird's native? Yes. Okay. Yes. We have um, eight species of cuckoos in Australia. Wow. And uh, three species. There's a small bronze cuckoo here, the pallid cuckoo and the fantail. Wow. Oh, didn't so know that. The pallet mm -hmm. cooker will, will lay in, in put, put it, actually lays its egg on the ground and picks it up and puts it in the nest. Right. Um, someone else's nest. Someone else's <laughs> nest. And the, they'll lay in nests like this, whereas the small bronze cooker lays in, in the domed, closed in nest. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Interesting. So interesting, yes. There's a whole nother world out there when you start yes. looking into the birds. Um, <laughs> My poor old boy's having a stretch. <laughs> what is it? He's so funny, poor thing. Mm. Um, okay, look, getting back to my beautiful um, beetroot leaf. Mm -hmm. I just absolutely love how, the colour of it. Yes. And... Uh, and the red and the green just looks stunning, doesn't it? But look at these beautiful, are they, I think they're xylem and phloem. You know, the red, again, yes. contrasting the beautiful. Mm. So I think, um, you know, I love this sort of feeling. So it's yes. coming up through the centre and then going out. Yeah, something like that. I'll use that as my gesture, I think. Mm. And so, Pete, you had... Um, I remember this gesture. The grapevine, now. grapevine going everywhere and then me cutting it. Oh, yes. That's <laughs> right. So grapevine going everywhere and then cutting it. Good. And mine's going up and out. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. What about you, Helen? I've been chasing cobwebs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> With a bigger one than this, but I've been up, up you know. Up yeah, there's the lots of them, aren't there? Oh, they're ferocious at the moment. Yeah. And cleaning. Oh, and I haven't done out. anything. And I've got, <laughs> I've got myself a deck cleaning brush. Oh, wow. So I've been. What is it? A, it's a little brush I'm trying to handle. Yeah, so I've been scrubbing all the concrete around the house. Wow. Oh, oh good on you. It'll look good. It does. And, and the decks. Yeah. So they needed yeah, scrubbing. So I've just been scrub, scrub. What scrub. sort of a brush is it? What's the other end? Just a, a, a brush. Yeah. Just a mop. Oh, a broom. A little, a really stiff bristles. Stiff. Oh, yeah. Great, yeah. great. 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 Got a little scraper on there. Yeah. So you can just clean all the bird <laughs> manure or whatever off. Yeah. It <laughs> really well. Yeah. So, yeah. Very good. It has to be pushed, though. It doesn't do it yeah, itself. It has to be pushed. Yeah. So I just. Now, work. that's good exercise, isn't it? It is good exercise. Yeah. And you have to be careful that you go on the both sides of the body, Helen. Yes, yes, I try and do that. Yeah, yeah. but not always successful. Mm. Now, I'm right handed, so it's easy to, yeah. Okay, that's but a it's good fun. gesture, isn't it? Yes. And I loved what you did then. You, you were pushing like this, pushing. With your hand, your forearm, and your elbow back. And yes. And then you went like this with your hair. I love that. So oh, that was like this. I should tie it up, actually. I'm just going to get a clip for it. No, no, <laughs> leave it like that. That's great. <laughs> Put that into the dance. No, it's um six six years ago next month it started growing again, so it really is six years old. Wow. Yeah. Are you going to keep growing it uh, forever? I haven't really thought about it. I'll probably get too old eventually to be bothered with it. You know, perhaps another ten years or so. So I'll see what happens. Yeah. No, it looks beautiful. No. It's lovely and easy lovely. to handle now, isn't it? Oh, it's very easy to look after this way. Yeah. I need yeah. to do it once a day and forget about it. Yeah. Mm. Good stuff. And I like also how you've got this grey, whoops, 
this grey stripe right across It's funny there. how it's just gone grey because the back of it's sort really of quite funky. dark brown still. So, mm. yeah. Beautiful. It's sort of multicoloured. It's funny. It's never quite the same once you've had chemo. It's all a bit weird. <laughs> oh, well, at least you're still here. That's I'm still alive. That's the main thing. Yes. Yeah, exactly. It is. Um, now, I'm still cleaning. No, no, Nothing's changed. Rose. I'm still cleaning. I, I haven't got anything. I didn't think of any specific thing. Yeah. Um, because I, I'm not into the pattern of what goes on, really, I suppose. What um, about um, you've got a beautiful drawing or painting behind you that's that's my favorite wild bird <gasps> needs the gang gang Aww, you know the gang gangs Peter? yes they're very limited to the outways and south so they don't go much further north than here actually no, and they, they have they a beautiful pool sorry they don't go far away from the the, the timbered areas do they no no, and they let me know when they're flying over and they have this scratchy sort of noise and it goes, ah, 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 and it's a big cocky. Very good. Yeah. Grey and white stripe. Mm. Does it show there? Yeah. yeah see there. And the red head. Yeah, the red head, head is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want a close-up of it or you can't? Well, if you I just feel, get it off the wall. Know us, we'd we'd love to love to see it, but up the, if no, you know another time. <laughs> yeah. No problem. But we all know what the gang gang is, don't we? So we can okay. imagine them flying. So, hmm. and do they come into you when you were at Bamburgh? Did they come into the garden and do it? And, yes. And eat, eat berries. Yes, they did. Yeah, and they fly a little like the black cocky. Yes, I'm not yes. sure actually. I don't think they're they're not exactly the same, are they? No, in flight. Bit hmm. Very Beautiful. good. So I love uh, yeah. the way you're using your hand there. It it looks like it. It's just so lovely and still because that's what they look like when they're in the bush, on a tree, on a branch. Yes, and I really I remember I went for a walk with Spyro, and Emmanuel around the corner and you know when you feel like something's looking at you anyway <laughs> i turned like this and there it was just sitting in the tree exactly like that and it wasn't even worried that we were walking past it you know mm. it so close yes they like are very you. quiet especially those birds yeah the, the gang gang they're a quiet bird like the green red cockatoo Right. You get up close. Yeah, mm. okay. And, you know, um, I it, it was so beautifully camouflaged, that's the thing, because it, it was completely submerged as one with the mm. with the bush, that it, the bottle brush, that's mm. right, it was a bottle brush. So you've got the beautiful red bottle brush here and then the gang gang sitting here and it just yes. obviously knows that it's part of the tree. Mm, yeah, <laughs> you can't no. see me. I'm part of the tree. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful bird. So we'll yes. use that gesture. Sorry. Is that okay? We'll use that gesture. Oh yes, that's okay. Yeah. Mm. Popping that's its crest cool. up. Mm. Mm. That sounds yeah. easy. So yes. uh, a gesture where you're putting the the crest up. So it's un it's got a small crest, not as big as the that some of the others, but now no. as a mere male, um, it's only the only the male birds in the gang gang that have red heads. Oh, so we were looking at a male. <laughs> so, yeah. They're always the best lookers. Oh, <laughs> they are. In the birds. <laughs> the women don't take a much, um, don't look as good, do they? I don't think. Well, they're the oh, ones yeah. that have to do the incubating and they don't want yeah. to, 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 to find them, I guess. Oh, that's, that's, ah, oh. that's, that's the reason behind it. Ah. Mm -hmm. oh. So we males are pretty lazy. So the blokes are all shot. <laughs> and, yeah. Um, and the mums, they just settle in so they can't be seen. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like the tiny little wren, you know, it's so insignificant, isn't it? Little mother. Mm. Mm. Okay, so gestures. 
What about if um, we've got this one here for a row, the gang gang, and I think we'll go also with what Pete was contributing with the beautiful yes. crest. Or even, I think I made a gesture like that too. I like that. Yeah, imagine you've got this beautiful crest on top of your head. And what else have we got? Um, would you like to add something else? Um, the crest. Right. And um, flying. When they fly, they they fly sort of like that. They yeah. they sort of go backwards and forwards, don't they? Okay. It's, it's not a smooth smooth flight, is it? It's, it's no, it's marvelous. I love watching them. Okay, up and down, yeah. So that's a great okay. gesture. I love that. Mm. Yeah, nice. Oh, what you're doing, Ro, looks good. It's going sort of more out like that. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Beautiful. Much. I love that. Let's yeah. try that. So we'll have the gang gang sitting in the tree and then it turns into a beautiful crest and then it goes off to fly. Nice. Yeah. Good. And then we had Helen's um, pushing the broom. Okay, some cobwebs. Yeah. <laughs> Throwing and then I, I maybe push the broom and throw the hair back, push the broom, throw because repetition's good in dance because it's the repeating of the pattern that everybody loves to see and remembers. And then we've got the brushing of the cobwebs. Yeah. What's that like, Helen? Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Mm. <laughs> Beautiful. And then um I know mine was going up the centre and out. Yes. Great. And then, Pete, can you remember yours? Yeah, the grapevine that. going up and stretching out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And grabbing some things. And, 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 gra and grabbing things, if we want to. <laughs> yeah, great. And grabbing. Way. Yeah. And then along comes the seconders. <laughs> Snip, 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 snip. Oh. snip, snip. So, so we, we're yeah. growing, growing out, so right. grabbing things and getting cut off. Yeah, and then getting cut off. Or you can even yeah, make, that's, make that's the gesture exactly. bigger. Yep, yep. So you can take the original gesture, you know, that's the literal way mm. of doing it, and then you abstract it by making it bigger, you know, so it becomes larger than life. And then you turn it into dance. Okay. Ooh, these are great. You guys come up with the best creative stuff. I love it. Makes class really interesting. So before we get into the full-on gestures, I can see Pete doing a bit of rolling of shoulders. Oh, yes, I, I've got to limber up a bit. Yeah, we do, don't we? So let's put some music on. We'll limber up a little bit more. And then we'll put the gestures to the dance. Here we go. Let's get some uh, Cumbian music on. I do like this Cumbian music. It's so lovely. There we go. Thank you. 
Yes, I'm not doing many of them. I'm not very. I'm quite sore, actually. Yeah, you just do. I can't get work. the shoulders around at all. Yeah. Mm. So I'm not doing a lot. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, is, you can still you can still use your from your elbows to your hands. Yeah. Yeah. So if we're yeah. stretching like this, and you can't put your leg out there. You can still do the stretcher and uh, stretch and connect with us with your hand. Mm -hmm. But just doing as you feel, right? Yeah? Even just watching the movement is helpful. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we're doing the gang gang like this. We're, we, we tend to be going up on different branches of the tree, which means we're using the shoulders, yeah? But you don't have to use your shoulders. Just hold it there, hold the gang gang there, maybe in front of you, in front of you there. You move within your, wherever your movement potential is. Mm -hmm. So let's go to Ro at the moment. Rose, sorry. So Rose, um, let's do gang gang. I think he's so let's see bit. how we can be able to move within your physical range. So your gang gang's here and your another one's there. And are your elbows up or are you resting on something? I'm resting. I shouldn't be in this big chair. I should be in a kitchen, you know, yeah. little yeah. chair. Next time I'll do yeah. that, okay. pick this out of the way. Yeah, mm. so already that is going to become quite heavy for you. So the moment you feel like, oh, no, it's getting too much, just lower the arms and enjoy watching others still be engaged in the dance. Mm -hmm. Or you can go into the other part of your gesture, which was the crest. So wherever yeah. you feel, you can move within your range. So you can still do the crest of the gang gang here. You don't have to yeah. go up here. You're still engaged in the dance down here. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Um, let's go to Peter's beautiful gesture of the vine and let's see how we can adapt Peter's choreography for you, Rose. Yeah. And I'll show you how you can change the choreography but still be in the dance. So, Peter, could you show us your great vine action again? Lovely. Reach Where is he? I can't see, Peter. Oh, can't you? No, I see myself instead. I don't want that there. <laughs> I think you, you've got to go on gallery view. Oh, I don't know how to use it. No, uh, can Dennis help you with that? He's not here. Sorry, oh, no, he's gone. Right. So um, that's all right. Well, you can't see Peter, but can you see me, Rose? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I'll show you. Keep going, Peter, and I'll follow you. And Helen, you may as well join in. Yes, yeah, so Peter's got the secateurs here 
and he's actually chopping the grapevine because it's getting out of control. It's so abundant. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so Pete, have a rest for a minute. And Thank you. Uh, so, Rose, you know, it's hard for you to lift your shoulders. So, how can you still do that movement of cutting in a in a way where it's easy for you. So keep your elbows down, shoulders down, and you can still do the cut in front of you. And slowly move from side to side within the range that you like. Yeah, lovely, see? And now let's see if you can open your hands a bit further and then bring them closer together. So can you make your hands go apart and together? Apart, one down, one up and then they come together, so far apart and close together. Beautiful. And see what the dance can do is that you can still give the idea of the secateurs like this in a fast way or you can slow it down. Yeah. Or you can put the other hand on top and change it. See, this is where it shifts into dance and not so much in the drama of the theatre or the movement. Yeah, lovely. Great. And um, so, Pete, there's another, huh? there's another action you did. Yeah, that was great. Show us that. That's with the, yeah, the vine right. wrapping itself around me. And now I can see. <laughs> so Peter's wrapping his arms around. Um, so, Rose, can you take one hand up and just rest it on your opposite shoulder? Are you able to do that? Lovely. Crack. And then you can take the other hand up on the other shoulder and you, it's almost as if you're digging your fingers into the top of your shoulders. And that's actually a lovely stretch just within itself. So if you drop, if everyone drops their chin down, yeah, then you stretch the back of the neck. And so this is the grapevine that's grabbing on to everything. Mm. But for us, it's a great inspiration to stretch the back of our neck. <laughs> Wonderful. So let's do it on the other side. So take the bottom arm out and that goes on the top this time. Yeah, great, Peter. That's it, Rose. Yeah, Rose, yes. Lovely. And now keep your hands there, but drop your elbows down, Rose. Lovely. Yes. Good. Now let's have a look at other ways that we can untangle ourselves, but also then what are other ways that we can wrap around something? On our knees, around our waist. Yep. So the grapevine can go around our waist. You can have one grapevine up on your shoulder, one on your knee. Lovely. Oh, yeah, good. One on your head, one down on your knee. And the grapevine can wrap around underneath your arm, down on your knee. Does this look familiar, Peter? Is, would this be a way that the grapevine would grow? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, amazing. That's incredible. Yeah, great. Love it. And um, so, Helen, let's get you to do your gestures again and we'll see how we can work the choreography so that we can adapt it for Rose to join in. Beautiful. So, mm -hmm. Rose, can you put your hand up like this? And we're just going to vibrate your fingers. Yes. Shaking them backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, like the duster. Yeah. So Helen's got a duster in her hand. She's getting rid of the spiders. <laughs> That's great. I love spiders. <laughs> We've got a big black spider in an amazing web in our window. It's becoming our pet now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, it's making us look at it. And it's on the outside. We can't get it off the window, of course. Okay, rest that hand. Let's try the other hand, Rose. So bending at the elbow, bring the hand up. Lovely. So see if you can go across the body and across back the other way. Good. Now let's try it again with the fingers going backwards and forwards like we're dusting the spiders away. That's it. 
excellent good so you know peter you might try doing this with the upper part of your body as well you know depending how you feel to do that with the music great and then for my gesture rose um i was coming up through the middle of the body and going out but starting down low and going up high so you can go up the center of your body yeah that's it great and let the hand drop coming up the middle mm. and that's then good yeah, you, do it. you can start to lean out to the side and keep going up your arm can go all the way up and then out so you always work to your full movement potential yeah it, you're still in the dance and it still has the same meaning good lovely okay so peter and helen can you turn to each other with your chairs as well and uh pete you can lead the movement and helen if you mm -hmm. can follow and then when it's your turn to show your gesture of the dusting the spiders away and and um the use of the broom and your hair then you take over okay mm -hmm. and then rose and i are going to dance with each other gang gang and I'm doing the beetroot leaf. So, Rose, you keep looking at me. And Helen and Peter, you look at each other. Beautiful. Here comes the music. Now, just because the music's fast doesn't mean you have to be fast. You can still work and hear all the other instruments that are playing slowly. All right, off you go. Solo porque estoy sufriendo colegialas de 
to get ourselves up. So Ro, how does that feel? Being able to dance um, through the camera and watching and following. Yeah, well, it's something different for me. I, yeah, I don't feel I'm very agile for it. Mm. I can't, yeah, it's knees and hips and everything with me now, so I've got to be careful. Yes, you do need to be careful. I went home very sore last time because I swung my arms too far. Oh, yeah. Okay. Out of, yeah, so I've got to be careful. I don't know if it's right for me or mm. whether I should pursue it or... Mm. I, I think um, it's good that you're sitting in that chair. I don't think you need to have a kitchen chair because I like the idea that you're resting your elbows mm. on the sides of your chair there. So yeah. all your movement, I think, needs to be in front of your body here. Unless we're doing, um, you know, movements like this. Yeah. yeah. And you have to be careful of doing shapes that reach out from your body. Yeah. Mm. So I have to be guided by you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I like the fact that you're telling me that. Mm because it makes me take note. Good O. Are we ready to stand up? Let's sit on our chair. Um, and I think, Rose, you're not going to get up, are you? You're going to stand no, up. No, I won't. Yeah. yeah. So let's stand with our feet. We're going to stand, but let's keep our feet flat on the floor to begin with. Feeling your toes going down into the earth and your heels into the earth and let's roll our energy onto our toes and then putting your weight back onto the heels. That's it. Lovely. And now from here, let's lean from the top of the head and back. You might want to hang on to the chair here from the top of the head and coming back. So feeling your sitting bones into the chair. Lovely. Good. And also feel your spine nice and long out through the top of your head. And begin to push the weight into the floor through your feet and getting the energy out through the top of the head. So we're going to stand up, but we're going to come back down as well. So bending the knees over the toes and lowering back down. So it's like we lead through the top of the head and coming up, lovely. And now here we bend the knees, take the head forwards, take the sitting bones behind you and sitting down, lovely. Great. And so Pete, you might try leaning up and coming all the way up and take your arms out. 
And you might do a, a little grapevine movement here, bending the knees and out and coming back down. Let's try that. That's it. Good, so leaning forwards, coming up, arms out. Yeah, good Pete. Wrap the arms. As you wrap the arms, you might bend the knees. Lengthening up, take the arms out and sitting back down. Good. So Rose, you might do lean forward, put cross your hands on your knees. Good. And lean forward. Uncross your hands and lean back. Lovely. Let's try that again. So lean out through the top of your head. That's it. Cross the hands, cross your knees. You can still do the grapevine. And then leaning back into the chair again. Good. So you're still involved in the dance. Beautiful. Let's try standing up. So Rose, you're going to stay where you are. So Pete, let's try it. Out through the top of the head, take the arms up, cross the arms and out. Lovely. Shake the hands and just shake out the feet. So, Rose, shake the hands out a little bit more. Keep your elbows on, on the sides of the chair. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to work with the feet now. Not too long because... Um, we still need to do our breathing with the body of sound, but just to be moving around the chair a little bit more. So, Rose, I know you can't get out of the, the chair. I can. I can, can get can out. Can. Yeah, but that's fine that you stay in the chair. It's not yeah, a problem okay. at all. Yeah, yep. not a problem at all. So when you, what I want you to do is watch what we're doing with the gestures, with the hands, and you can engage in it at any time that you wish to. Yeah? Just with your forearms and your hands. All right, here we go. Tú sonríes sin pensar que al mirarte solo porque estoy sufriendo con la guía la de mi amor. Amaneciendo, 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 
have a look at rest for the minute. Let's see if we can try, just to finish this section, let's see if we can try Helen and Peter. You're going to be doing a um, kumbia movement, yep. Yeah? So that's your step. Feel where the pulse is. Lovely. And then if you find a way to uh, hold each other in that ballroom pose, good. But instead of, you know where the hand's connecting here, you might turn that into the gang gang sitting there looking at each other. But keep the kumbia movement going. And then you might change it to the other side. That's it. And then maybe you might let go of hands and then add a, the crest, still dancing close next to each other. Yeah. So what I want you to do is put the gang gang gestures into your kumbian dance movement with each other. Uh-huh. Beautiful. We'll give you some time to work on that. And Rose and I are going to dance with each other through the screen. But I won't do the feet, okay, Rose? You and me will dance with each other in the chair. Is that all right with everyone? Mm -hmm. All right, here comes the music. So, Helen and Peter, if you get a bit tired, of course, sit down, no problem. <laughs> Here we go. All right, off you go, Peter and Helen. to sit. I think you need to. Fantastic. Love your choreography. I'll run it. Hang on. Lovely. 
I know the music can really get you going, can't it? So you have to be careful that you don't overdo it. So Rose, what did you, that look like when you um, were watching Peter and Helen? What gestures could you see that they were doing? I didn't to... see them. They're not on the screen. No, but when you when you were actually watching me, when you oh, were watching yes. me copying. Yeah, me. yeah, that was good. Yeah. Yeah. Can you remember any of the gestures they were doing? Because there was a few gang gang gestures. Yes, there were a few gang gangs. Um, no, I don't remember. I remember they were doing it from the side. Going from the side and then back to the other way. That was great. And then you had something like this. Feathers. Right, Peter? Yeah. Forwards. Forwards and backwards. And then moving, moving to the side with the wings. So. And then you had the wings. Mm. Yeah, lovely. And like you were flying. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, great stuff. Oh, I think that looked fabulous. How are you feeling, Peter? Are you exhausted now? A bit tired now. <laughs> Running out of puff, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, that, that's to be expected. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, goodness me, have you ever seen, you know, professional dancers when they get off stage after dancing four minutes full on? Mm. It, mm. Like, every, their heart and soul goes into it and then their body has to recuperate. And it's the same with us. If we're dancing, we have to read the signs in our body all the time. How are we feeling? Sensing and feeling exactly where's the pain in my body? How can I shift through it? And then come back to um, being normal again. Yeah. So we always have to listen to the body. Jackie, if I can just quickly say, when I mentioned that I was getting tired doing this, uh, when I last saw the neurologist, he said, even if you have to sit, Peter, just do the arm movements and you hear, and, um, and even just concentrate. Um, you know, it's good for the brain as well as the... But <clears throat> Jackie, remember 12 months ago when we started, I, I could barely, you know, I, this, I could get, can't, couldn't get the shoulders going at all, could I? Not at all. Yeah. Mm. Not at all. But I'm not surprised, Peter, that with all that you're doing for yourself, with your body with um and all the treatment you're getting and coming to class and dance every week and enjoying being in the dance and being with helen in the dance <clears throat> and uh just giving it a go yeah. as as much as what you know that you can do and i think that's fabulous like you you're a hundred percent better than a year ago mm. right. Yes, yeah. And if I can, again, briefly, with the rehab I did many years ago and the gym work I'm doing now and what you're doing, they all mesh. They all, they're all, they complement each other. They complement the word I'm looking for. Because mm -hmm. I do, I'm to do a lot of this exercise getting up and down, down out of the chair. Yeah. And, and the shoulders at, at the gym, I've got to pull the shoulders, you know, move the shoulders. And then this coming forward, I've got weights to, and it's just all working, you know, it's very, very similar. Yeah. So, mm. but as Helen said, it all complements each other. So mm, that's it does. good. And I loved how when you got lost for words, you did this. It was like <laughs> they all mesh. <laughs> you see how powerful the body language is? Yeah. Yes. So when you said they all mesh, and then Helen says, yes, they all complement each other. You know, that's great. So when you say complement each other, you know, it goes with that gesture. But yes. the fact that you created that movement first, we mm -hmm. got exactly what you were trying to express. See, this is where the dance is powerful. When the language fails us and we don't know how to say things with our words, if we keep thinking whatever we our thoughts are, but then the body will send the message because mm. all the information's in our body. So this lovely word of mesh is also complement, complements all the other things together. Mm. Mesh, complement, togetherness. It all works with each other. So this is why the dance is really good for you and I'm really happy that it's working for you, Peter. So you could go the other way and be really frustrated, couldn't you? 
So would I. (laughs) (laughs) And that's all right too, you know, because it's part of life being frustrated, isn't it? But (laughs) getting angry and frustrated uses too much energy when you haven't got much. (laughs) It's not worth it. (laughs) It's not worth it, is it? I find when I get angry and frustrated, I come back to the breath. Mm. And that is breathe in and then breathe out, you know. And I I remember yesterday, (laughs) Emmanuel was talking to me. I couldn't hear what he was saying. I was listening to him. I was all ears, but the language wasn't going in my brain because I was in shock. And so I just went, it was such an automatic response. And Emmanuel's response was just to stop talking. He just stopped talking. And he just looked at me and we just breathed again together. Mm. You know, because the brain, the computer just crashes. It just crashes. When there's too much information, we just switch off. It's such a great survival instinct, isn't it? Yes. So, yeah, um, lovely gestures today. Love that gang gang. Love the crest. Mm. Love the swooping, Mm. you know, taking off. Mm. This one, you know, pushing the broom, (laughs) flicking the hair, the hair flick. Did you do the spider gesture in your cumbian dance? The cobwebs, yeah. Cobwebs, yeah. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I've seen Helen just tackle a rat with a rolled up newspaper, kill a snake with a broken broom, and scream like anything given a chair for a spider as big as a thin thumbnail. <laughs> kill, did you seriously kill a snake? Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Well, that's, that's, that's not allowed now, is it? They're protected. Oh, no, no. This was when um, oh, no. I was only a toddler, so I didn't want a snake around her feet. No. Oh, God, no. Yeah, She's yeah. in her 40s now, so it was a few years ago. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Goodness me. Yeah, I remember as a kid watching my brother kill a brown snake on in, in Spring Street, on the corner of Spring Street and Torquay Road, when that was a vacant block. And there yeah. was a brown snake there and he killed it because it was right was right there. It's mm. like just standing up, I can't believe, you know, like with its head up like this. Ready to strike. I know. Lucky that he didn't get bitten. Mm. Strike, there's the yes. picture. Yeah, good one, Peter. That's a good one. Yeah, strike. Okay, well, let's get into our breath, seeing we're talking about that. And if you've got a candle, by all means, bring it in. Yes. All right, so let's um, think about anybody that you feel you need to. I'm going to think about my old man. Yeah. So we'll think of your dad. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you so much. Yeah. And, and Rosemary, who's recovering? Yes, thank you. She, have you spoken to her? Not yet, but I'll be doing that today. Yes. Mm. Um, okay, that's good. I'll ring her sometime. So did she have the operation today, uh, Helen? Yesterday, I think. It was yesterday. Mm. Uh-huh. Uh, I'll, I'll just stop this. <laughs>